so what's up guys in this video i'll be showing you how to trade and use the ftx pro app uh, now in my previous video i did talk about uh, leverage tokens and i did mention the ftx app so in this video i'm going to be going in depth into how to use it so um first i want to make mention of one thing there is a difference between the ftx app and the ftx pro app so let me just search ftx this is my android play store so you can see there are two apps here one is FTX and the other is, um, if you notice right here, this is FTX and this is FTX Pro. So they are like two different separate apps. So you notice that there are two. So FTX is just like your normal, like, let's say, your normal exchange. Meanwhile, FTX Pro is trading. It's like pure trading. Obviously, I have the app. So I'm just going to go and just... Um, open it okay, so just like my previous video this is the interface this video is going to be in three ways i'm just going to show you how the deposit looks like and then i'll show you how to then um buy the leverage uh, tokens then we could just look at a few other things so that's three things to look at all right so right here i'm just going to click on deposit so uh it's going to load a little hopefully it's fast Okay, so it load a little and it will show you to deposit in USD in crypto. Uh, usually, that is USD option. I have actually preloaded this uh, this particular account with, uh, I think, $15 or so. Uh, so, just for the test trading and all. And all. So, you could you could um, deposit with USD, FTT. FTT is, uh, I think, their FTX token which is their in-app token just like you have bnb with binance and which other one kcs with kucoin um uh, hbt you could check out my video on H hbt with a hot beat also there's crypto.com like crypto.com coin so all these kind of are in apps like in exchange H exchange tokens so they have their own exchange token so in this app i'm going to be just showing you how the deposit with theta works because i prefer to just use theta which is our crypto usd you know so let this load a little okay so if you are if you have if you are frequent with um other exchanges you know they give you uh a coin when you want to deposit they will give you a network like theta so in in this place i'm not using erc20 let me say i'm going to use the bsc network so it's going to load the bsc theta uh wallet so all i'll just do is i'll just copy this so if i just copy this and once i copy it I'll just go and paste it wherever I want to collect money from and then they will send it straight here. So that's it for deposits. And then we move to um, trading. Yeah, like I said, I have, I did preload this this account. So then we move to trading. Oh, one, one other thing, you can always convert money to, you should also notice you can convert money. You can stake, let me show you. You can stake in FTT, you can stake in SOL, uh, you can stake in SOL, you can stake in SRM, then you can also stake in RAY race taking but they already have their own ftt here so you could use their own ftt staking and i think they can also stake theta too if i click on theta i should see it yes you can see you can lend your theta i think eight percent per annum so you can also they also have lending then the the next thing for us to check is now convert let me show you convert so obviously you can always convert your token so you can say i have uh, your coin to another coin i have two dollars in usd so let's say I wanted to add a dollar in you, a dollar from my theta. Let me see, because I have, I think I have eight dollars in theta. So I wanted to add a dollar from my theta right here. I wanted to put it in USD like this. So I could just do this, just add a dollar from here to here. So I could just type one dollar. Okay, come in here. Just type one dollar, and it it then it then exchanges it. It loads it why is it slow let me put this like this it's kind of slow so i'm going to pause so it has loaded so this is the conversion just like um i think if you use a little bit of hotbit and some other hotbit and crypto.com i think some other uh, exchanges they actually have conversions like this so you can convert from one token to another so you can see and now i should have three usd now it has changed to three usd okay so now we go to trading where we'll go back to the home then we now go to trading the the leverage tokens so i'll just come in here click on leverage tokens so you will notice two things uh the you can also see the convert up here again right here the convert is up at the top right corner 
but let's still also let me go back to the trading part you will notice something in this uh in this place you will notice that some appear to usd which is normal dollar and some appear to usdt which is theta so for the sake of this uh, whole um for the sake of this whole this whole example i'm going to just use because i just put a dollar in in usd so i'm just going to use the usd option here i'm going to buy this is bitcoin beer so i'm just going to buy bitcoin beer now one other thing you should notice here is you can actually show the chart this way if i click on this eye right here the chart shows if i click on the eye right here it goes away i prefer to have it away because i don't study charts i don't really need charts for anything so i just don't use it then down here you can also choose what type of order to use you can use limit order it, it's this is not an in-depth training video but you can usually use the two orders try using the limit order like this or you can actually try using the market order so it just goes with the market current market price that's given and then you just put in the amount because right now i have um you can also see your balances down here you can see your balances right down here so right now i have three dollars in usd so i have three dollars in usd so i'm just going to click on just going to press one dollar here put in one dollar so i can get it will load the amount of beer tokens i can get the amount of bitcoin beer i can get so i'll just come and click on buy usually you have a, a pop-up telling you whether you need you want to buy or not but i kind of disabled my pop-up because i now want to buy and the rest all right it's going to buy now so it's kind of slow so i'm going to pause I'll, I'll i'll just leave it because to load so where is my pop-up supposed to tell me that it has bought it okay that's placed the order order placed successfully and it has been bought so i think if i come to sell also the same thing with sell when you click on sell that's the buy there when you click on sell it's going to show you uh the exact amount you do have so if i click on 100 percent of my tokens like this if i put it this way it will show me the total number of btc beer i have and i want to sell then if i go down like this it can just take it back to zero and that's basically how this works so if i want to sell like 50 percent of my tokens i take this to 50 and it comes out it's going to load i can just click on 100 so you can see that that's exactly how this works so it's at 50 percent and then i can click sell and it will go okay so uh, just before i end this video um, I would like to show you this button right here so you can use this to search for other tokens um, I can also search other tokens here so I can just search let's say um, um, XRP XRP oh, no, no. not you if I put XRP here so I have XR bull, XRP bull. let me see uh, let me try XRP beer but I don't think this has zero trading volume let me hide this don't need this so if i try to actually buy this i don't think i'll be able to buy it because i'm seeing zero trading volume here so i just click on one let me see this will buy okay that place successfully and let me see this zero orders okay it has been placed and that's pretty much it okay all right so that's it for this video if you like what you see please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like um don't forget to share this with your friends and that's it for now for how to use the ftx um, pro app all right see you guys in my next video